Now I've seen a few questions on YouTube, a few people on the sort of home recording forums, that sort of thing, saying which auto tune should I get? Which is the best one? Which is the best for vocals? Which is the best for auto tuning a solo violin or whatever? Now, my argument, I don't have any of these plugins. My argument is more about whether the performance, whether the recording says what it needs to say. And the fact of the matter is, and this is really fact here, is that when somebody sings, they are never ever going to be absolutely on pitch for the whole of that note. Now I realize that the technology now does allow for a certain amount of expression with the, the vocal or whatever instrument you're trying to tune. And that's fine. But if we consider, for example, Stevie Wonder, Mick Hucknall, or Boy George. Now, if you listen very carefully to the recordings, all three of those singers sing slightly sharp. But it works, it's fine. You know, how can we, how can anyone sort of berate the singing of those three individuals? Well, they can't, they're, they're all very good singers. So just imagine if you'd put those through those three singers through an auto tune just imagine the life that you would suck out of those performances and indeed if you've got things like a violinist for example when i'm recording a solo on a violin there are lots and lots of places where actually a string player doesn't conform to the standard keyboard sort of 12 note system that we all know really doesn't conform at all so a violinist has to have much, much more freedom, especially with things like vibrato and slides and that sort of thing. It can be very damaging indeed to add an auto-tune to anything like that. So with vocals, of course, if there is a note that's out of tune that you hear and you go, oh no, then yeah, okay, that's, you know, it makes some sense. But it might be better just to, if you if you like the vocal take, to simply change that one note instead of just sticking the whole lot through an auto-tune. You also do have, with older auto-tunes certainly, with things like built into Logic for example, you, um, it starts to affect the timing, the effect, the sort of the, the nuances of the timing of that performance and that's not good. So I would say that the timing and the delivery of a performance really comes above the tuning now, of course, you know, the technology has to keep up with, you know, some of the you know, un, uh, unnamed um, artists out there who really can't sing at all. But, you know, if you've got a performance and you like it and you put it on SoundCloud, people go, oh, yeah, I really like that. Then any tuning issues that somebody else may pick up really might be missed by quite a few other people. So tread carefully with auto-tune. Don't sort of um, don't put it on everything because indeed you may have a performance that you listen back and you think well yeah it sounds in tune and all that but all the, the life's gone all the soul is gone so there's my little two bob